Housing is a hot topic of conversation in Greenville County. As more urban areas continue to see a boom in growth, residents with lower incomes are pushed into parts of the county that may be farther from jobs and transportation. As people are located further from their jobs, more congestion on highways, longer commutes, slowing the movement of freight to and from our manufacturers. Tony McDade, Executive Director of United Ministries, has seen firsthand how growth has impacted access to affordable housing. So when I returned to Greenville in 2003, what I found was working with homeless families that there were places for them to move to, but there was just a dearth of jobs. It was just a, a circumstance. Subsequently, we've gone through the economic downturn. Now that situation has completely flipped around so that folks can find a good job that will sustain them, but affordable housing, housing that is safe and affordable, that is permanent for their families, that has become just virtually impossible for someone to find. There are just no housing units available at what you might regard as fair market rent so that someone doesn't have the situation where they're paying more than a third of their income for their housing. Uh, what we find with people in poverty who aspire to leave poverty is that they're facing a situation where they pay half to all of their income just to sustain their families with a place to stay. Susan McLarty, new director of Greenville Homeless Alliance, addressed the connection between housing and workforce development. Best planning we can do is to put jobs near homes and also make transportation a part of connecting all the other services outside of your job and other areas you need to travel to as well. Uh, because what we found too is that the income needed to, to now thrive in our county is about twice what minimum wage is. So, you know, you really, as a single income person, you need to be starting minimum around $14.32 an hour, so really approaching the $15 per hour full-time work to, to just survive in this county. Susan has also seen the difference housing can make in connecting someone with work or keeping them from it. To many people, Greenville is still quite affordable and a very desirable place to move to. But what we've learned is that we have two different um, demographics or socioeconomics at play here. And part of our growth is that we've turned towards tourism as a major part of our economy. And so in that growth and in that loss of affordable homes, we now are dependent upon workers who are earning, you know, if you're working full-time job, uh, minimum wage in this city or in this county, you're earning right at $15,000 annually. So your maximum rent's going to be about $419 a month. And that is where we simply do not have available supply of homes today. But it's a very much an opportunity because we're continuing to create new jobs, both at our low income and our high income. And so with that growth, we need to just turn our attention and our planning now towards how do we go into this next phase?